Look at the damage from Hurricane Dorian. Reporter Ali Weatherton is live on the Outer Banks, one of the areas hit hardest by the hurricane. Ali, way different feeling out there today, huh? Well, Dana, I have to say what a difference a day makes. Yesterday we were feeling those hurricane forced winds. Today it's absolutely beautiful. The wind is hardly hardly blowing and it's not raining, but locals still have a lot of cleaning up to do. I want to show you the Avalon Fishing Pier. Uh, if you can take a look, there were people um, on it a little bit earlier walking down, trying to assess the damage. A lot of locals are actually here taking pictures of the pier. Approximately half of it, according to the owners, was swept away by the wind and surf during yesterday's Hurricane Dorian. And that's not the only pier damaged here. About 75 feet of the Nags Head Pier was also knocked down and damaged. Now, as far as homes and business in the, businesses in the area, the majority of them weathered the storm we did see a little bit of damage on some roofs. Some shingles were knocked off. You can see there's a um, right where the fishing pier is. The shingles have been knocked off here. You can actually just see the board. So a lot of people do have cleaning up to do. As for the Avalon Fishing Pier, the Facebook group, the Avalon Fishing Pier Facebook group, they posted a link to a GoFundMe page saying that they are going to try to rebuild the fishing pier. I put that link on my Facebook page if you guys want to donate. Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.